My name is Lorenzo. I come from uh, a small town in Italy, in the north of Italy. I came uh, in Japan the first time in 2013, and I used to be a student here. Then I found uh, an office job, uh, which is what I'm doing currently, while I'm uh, also doing photography, and I'm a co-founder of the Genie Street Gather. I'm Toto, I'm from Tbilisi, Georgia. I've been in Tokyo for eight years now. By day, I'm a software engineer and photographer, and by night, I'm a co-founder of Genie Street Gallery. The area itself is called Jingu Maini Chome Showakai, which is uh, the um, shopping district of Jingu Maini Chome, and uh, Jini is the, um, the name that the locals refer to, to the area. So the area is interesting in a way that it's like very close to Harajuku and to a very touristy places in Tokyo, but the very few people like come here or wander around here from those places. Uh, so it's, the excess is easy, but it's not overcrowded in a way. Also, you can totally have a very calm walk without having like hundreds of people on the street. The idea of the gallery started accidentally in a way. Because I was walking, I live nearby, and I was walking in the area and I noticed the street lamps and I, for like for a split second I thought, oh, well, that would be a nice place to display my work at some point. That was in 2018. And many, many years later, I met a common friend of ours who said basically, hey, I know a guy who had an exhibition in those street lamps. I was like, what are the odds of in this giant city to meet somebody who knows somebody who basically did what I wanted to do? Cool. And that's how we met each other. And very naturally after that, because we became friends and we were talking to each other and everything, uh, we just proposed to each other it sounds weird. Yeah, right. We basically That's what I've asked each other like, hey, do you mind if we convert this place into a gallery and run it? So the unconventional like format of the gallery kind of led us to a challenge because like it's not like commonly done as far as we know. And which means like we have to figure out how to run it. It's like we cannot read it in a book in a way that how to run a gallery because they're mostly of, most of them are about like white walled yeah. spaces and basically how to make people see art in a street is somewhat challenging because of people don't expect it to be there and most of the time people don't come for the gallery they just walk around right so like figuring that out and kind of promoting art in a different way is definitely still yeah. in a way it's still a challenge like we haven't cracked it yet So Genius Street Gallery, one, a thing that differs Genius Street Gallery from other galleries is that's 24 hour open. So uh, you have like time, you can enjoy the gallery in the day with nice sun, uh, sunlights. But during nighttime, you have like a lot of uh, cases are, uh, uh, all the cases are lit up. They have like a little uh, light bulb inside. So you can experience like a different uh, uh, aspect of the gallery during night. With friends, with friends, alone, uh, so it's, uh, uh, as long as you enjoy the process of it, has a lot of uh, way you can enjoy the places. And it's also one of the benefits of having a gallery in a street is that like street becomes part of the gallery in a way. Yeah, use whole street and everything like as a part of the experience, uh, including the walking bit, including the observing bit. Yeah. The inaugural exhibition, the first one we had, Basically, we wanted to convey the concept of the gallery, and it was called Tokyo Flaneur. But the word basically means like walking around for the sake of walking rather than just going to the destination. And it was a group exhibition of seven street photographers. You see the art that was made in the street, and then basically using our gallery consumed or like experienced in the street as well. So like environment, the art, and the everything like gels into one cohesive thing. The, the artist that uh, is now exhibiting at Genie Street Gallery is, co uh, is called Kohei Shibusawa. He's a robe artist. 
he learned the, the rope, the kimbaku, it's like the, the art of rope under uh, Hajime Kinoko, which is like a world renowned uh, rope artist. And uh, what he wants to do now is to try to incorporate uh, the rope art into uh, everyday life object that at first glance could be considered like common or uh, not worth of any attention. Just like want to bring focus back to these little details that uh, uh, you can uh, find inside the city. I started working in my late teens as a, I discovered like by accident, I just, I discovered that it like helps to clear your mind and like almost have a meditation in a way. Basically it became a habit over the like couple of weeks. And then like slowly I started to discover like other things about walking that it gives you like this like headspace and like a long time to think, reflect, basically do anything that you can do with your brain. And after moving to Japan and Tokyo especially, it has become like a, almost a platform to explore, to take photos, uh, to observe and to think. And it's far more engaging when you're like actively looking around. And as a bonus, you learn the city very well. So like your friends ask you about everything. <laughs> for me, walking started the moment I came uh, to Tokyo for work. The working environment is Tokyo is pretty high base and stressful. Walking was like a way to free up my mind. And uh, that came together with photography. With my first pay, I bought like my first, uh, my first camera, Fujifilm. The combo is perfect, so you just, uh, walk around the, the area, you take photos, and it's really addicting because you, as Toto said, you find out a lot of uh, hidden places when you use like the, the lenses, when you use uh, a bit more focus through walking, you find out a lot of like beautiful places, uh, which is also like uh, um, the concept behind the uh, Genius Street Gallery. I guess just seeing people, observing people, observing art, yeah. looking into the the street lamps and this like exhibition boxes is like super nice feeling yeah it's like nice warm feeling inside why do you see people doing that it's like yes yes do that that's good <laughs> that's pretty <laughs>